Well, Father Thompson can you with us. Father, English and history are your subjects of specialization. Right from the classrooms of St. Pius in Mulund to the principalship of Sacred Heart Boys High School at Santa Cruz. Do you feel that the new curriculum of the Maharashtra State Board is doing full justice to the students? Yes, I fully agree with it because the continuous comprehensive evaluation totally gives you uh, the full equipped one to go ahead. They have got those eight tools and the teacher in the class have to use his tools and make the lessons more interesting. And I think it is fully the Maharashtra government is full credit to that curriculum because it enhances the learning outcome of the student. Okay. And uh, one of the things that you must definitely be agreeing with the Maharashtra government father is um, e-learning because you yourself are a very tech savvy person at heart. So according to you, what are the main benefits father of um, technology or students rather studying through technology for the 21st century student? I think technology is important in the life of a student because nowadays they are more in tune with the technology. And once a modern learning outcome comes in, once you use the technology. And I feel technology is a must because it also enhances their learning. So in the field of education, technology is a must. Because if you want to be in tune with the student, you want to be one with the student, you need to move ahead with him or her, with the walking in the footstep of the student. Fantastic. So bring yourself to the level of the student yes. is your mantra, yes. right? And as they say, uh, everything flows from the top to the bottom. Yes. So even your attitude. But um, how do you uh, incentivize different teachers? Because they have their own opinions vis-a-vis -vis the use of technology in the classroom. Yes. All of us are quite different. All of us have got different capacities. But as a teacher, if you want to see the future of your child, you need to move with the future. If you want to make your lesson, your class more interesting, and if you feel that this is the way with my children like, and you think that you will get a full attention in the class, you go ahead with it, use the technology, and then you see each and every student will be benefited by your creative way of using the technology. Oh, that's amazing. No wonder you're known to be such a progressive uh, principal. And, um, it is you and it is under your tenure that e-learning came to Sacred Art School. Right, Father? Yes. So, um, now, how do you manage to bring parents and students onto a common platform apropos the benefits of using technology in the field of education? Once you make the parents aware and show them the benefit of using the technology and you show them how technology is reaching out even to their homes, a simple example, in my school, when a child enters, the parents get a message. Once he leaves, the parents get a message. They have been aware. They feel that the child is more secured. And they understand the importance of technology in today's world. So it becomes more easy for me to relate with them. That is amazing. And uh, beside the feature of uh, technology being the best for repetition and revision, right? It is also a fantastic feature when you come when you are talking about tracking the performance of a student I mean just as you would uh, track uh, the vehicle or the GPS helps you to do that tracking the performance of a student real time mm. yes this will definitely enable the educator yes. to remodel his or her teaching pedagogy yes. accordingly yes. right what is your take on this father and do you think that this feature of tracking should be a must in an educational app Yes, definitely, because if when a tracking thing comes in, you can easily keep a check of what is happening, you can improvise it, and you can enhance that uh, tracking more better way, because if you get a feedback, you can still improve on it and work on it, and you get a clear picture of what you are doing of it. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's uh, move a little bit away from technology, and let's come to... Uh, Academics, I mean, of course, technology is now very much a part of it, an integral part of it. Um, academics, Father, we know how difficult it is now for the students to gain admissions into various colleges, right? right? Each and every mark counts and how. Yes. 
So, as the principal of one of the major schools in Mumbai, how do you manage to help the students with the pressure that they are dealing with? When they are at school with us, we, we give them an explorer to various experiences in their life and these experiences also help them to cope with the stress and pressure in their life. The stress and the pressure is too much in the big world when they are in a small world with us. But once they are out, we train them in our school through various activities so that they have been able to face the challenges that are there outside. And when they face these challenges, they will be in a better position to handle it and not be afraid to handle it. But with joyful, they will be able to handle it. Terrific. So, Sacred Art students cannot be frogs in the pond. No, they cannot be frogs in the pond. Correct. And um, now I'm going to say something which is going to really bring a broad smile to your lips, Father. Uh, you have been instrumental in designing the PT uniforms, yes, creating a very, very famous school band. So, obviously, even uh, yesterday when I was speaking to you, I felt that you were on the school ground rather than in your office, right? So, um, your views on co-curricular and extracurricular activities? Extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities are important in life. At Sacred Heart, we ensure that it is not only studies, studies, studies. We also ensure that they take part in various co-curricular activities and at the same time these activities will help them to build their future. Whether you are a good dancer or singer or a player or whatever, we have got beautiful ground at Sacred Heart School. Oh, who so, hasn't seen that father? So once, that ground, or once you are with that, so we enhance to see that each and every student takes part in that co-curricular activities. For us, what is more important at Sacred Heart is not winning, but the participation of the student is important. That's so much the motto of the Olympics, yes. right? Participation is more important than winning. Yes, Father. We know that inclusive education is the need of the hour today. Yes. And um, I believe, uh, as do so many others, that uh, technology can play a major role to achieve this vision. Yes. Your take on this, Father? For me, inclusive education is a must and technology also enhances to know the ability of the student. So using technology, the teacher also will know the cognitive ability of the child. So technology is a must also in inclusive education. So an absolute must, the cognitive abilities, the multiple intelligences, all can be mapped, mapped together head. and the teacher will be able to draw a conclusion from that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful father. And now something that is very, very close at heart for you father. Um, the low cost yet super high quality education provided by the Sacred Heart Boys High School is definitely a feather in the cap for the Roman Catholic Art Diocese of Mumbai. How difficult is it for you father to bring children of diverse social strata. I mean, we have uh, children of actors and directors and uh, the Bollywood who is who, studying with children who are there on dole too, right? So how difficult it is, Father? And um, how do you still manage to raise the bar year after year in an effort to benchmark them for higher quality education? First and foremost, the motto for our school is for God and country. Looking into the uh, looking broad at that motto, let me tell you that when I was a college student, I used to teach in an NGO for the slum kids at Akansha. So already that inclination was there. In my formation as a priesthood, in my third year, I was working in the tribal areas with the lowest Katkari tribes. Oh. Again, education, I was imparting education to them, the simple people. When I took over as a principal, that was there at the back of my mind and I tried to ensure to see that everybody is treated equally. Whether you're from the lower strata and what, whether you're from the highest strata, everything should be equal. And at the same time, we at Sacred Art, the management at Sacred Art, very clearly aims that everything should be equal, everything should be treated equally. Beautiful. And that's how we were, the management tries to ensure to see that everything 
everybody is being treated equally and there is no division. So everybody gets equal treatment, everybody is happy with what we are doing. The main motto is to train boys for God and country. My, 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 very, very high vision. And that too, um, in your 80th year, am I right, Father? Yes. This is the 80th anniversary? Yes. Oh my God, what an achievement, Father. Something yes. about your 80th anniversary. We are still in a planning stage and we are trying to see how we could have this program more meaningful. Ultimately, is not something we have a program and you forget, but how can we reach to each and every student as well as also have that inclusiveness of inviting others to be part of our celebration. Fantastic. Uh, looking forward to be surely a part of uh, your 80 years celebration, sure, Father. Sure. And uh, what a pleasure it has been for all of us to have this um, teacher of history and English. Yes, a teacher first, teaching right from the slum areas, right to the tribals, from there, moving on to St. Pius School in Mulund, and now the principal at the Sacred Heart Boys High School. What a wonderful time, Father. Thank you very much for being with us. God bless you all, my friends.